Coach, if we can start with uh, your lineup here this evening. Uh, you were thinking yesterday of going 12-6. and six. What yeah. might it be? That's what we'll do. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Pager's uh, just back, so I don't know how much I can give him and I want to make sure that I back myself up there. So um, we'll have Paul back in. We're playing against a bigger team, so and then Harper back in for the same reason. Uh, we'll take uh, we'll Lannan out. Lannan's, Lannan's done good, but I think it's, it, was choice, it was a choice between him and Harps, and I think this is a game where uh, you know, Harps fits in for sure. Uh, with his size, the physicality yeah. of the game. No, for sure. This is a big team. It's a you know a team that uh, likes to hang on to pucks. Uh, they're good on the boards, and uh, you know we, we need to be able to challenge that for sure. And then they you know they get the last matchup, so uh, you know we need guys with experience. With uh, JG in the lineup on Sunday, you gave him I think 13 minutes and change here, and you said yesterday you hope to get him upwards of maybe 15 or 16. What can those like? six or seven or even eight shifts extra do for your team if oh, that's possible. That's huge. I mean, Pedro is so smart. He's He saw it last game. I don't think I saw him make one mistake. You know, he hasn't played since last year. So he's a guy that, uh, first of all, I can put on it you know any situation so that helps us on the road big time uh obviously duchene's not there so it's it's you know if you, you wish you had both uh but uh he's still going to be able to do uh, uh you know a part of what duchene was doing offensively and he's he's going to help us definitely with uh with our you know our, on the road the matchups against us and being able to play against anybody so it's uh it, it's also going to be a contagious overtime over with our young guys and he plays the right way so so it's yeah. it's it's that's huge for us because we're we know that that you know we get some terrific moments we all play teams we you know we out chance them and then all of a sudden whoops we get a few brain cramps there and whether it's youth or lack of experience and those are the ones that have buried us so with Pajot there you know you maybe you're avoiding one or two of those and all of a sudden you know you, you get one of those games two teams that have gone in the same direction here over the last couple of weeks is there any way to predict what you anticipate from uh, this game here tonight against two clubs that have struggled. Well, uh, you know what? They, this is a good team. They get Raquel back too. I mean, it's this. They're home. Uh, yeah, they're going to be desperate. So I'm expecting their very best. I mean, this is a team that was going to, you know, trying to win the cup. Um, and you look at the name, the big names on that board. I mean, this is a lot of good players, a lot of experience, which we don't have. So we're aware of that. We we know that we have to have an, a, a terrific work ethic to give ourselves a chance. We know we can't give any freebies. You know, uh, and it's going to be hard because of the matchups, like it's been all year for us on the road. So. We're, we're expecting a, their very best, nothing less. So uh, regardless of uh, their record lately, uh, especially with some of their players back, and I know Fowler's been back but hasn't been that long, and then Ra Raquel, top-line player, um, you know, us it's the opposite. You know, we've lost a number one goalie, a number one defense, and a number one uh, center. So in our case, we got to keep it simple. Randy Carlisle said uh, he's going to emphasize the start for his uh, team tonight. I'm assuming you'll do the same. Yeah, you always do that. To be honest with you, I think it's it's you don't want to give the game right off the bat in the first ten minutes. Uh, you want to make it a game so that you know you get back to the after the first period and uh, you're in the right frame of mind and not chasing uh, you know by two or three goals. We know we come back on most of these games, but uh, when you're uh, too far behind on the road, it's a lot harder to come back than it is at home. So we want to make sure that uh, we have a, a good smart uh, smart start for us with uh Duchesne out power play wise who who might benefit with a little zingle okay zingle and you know the zingers deserve to uh just the making of the power play uh you know stoney's you know he's on his side and so and, you know it's, it's hard for zinger to crack that one not because doesn't the qualities to do so but just because you know Duchesne's on the other side and all of a sudden I mean, zinger has played low uh, but you know he's such a like he did last game. We put him on the other power play and he scored because he he finds those seams. Um, so you know and he's been on that power play before when Duchesne wasn't there. So because we've missed you know yeah, we've missed yeah. Duchesne for a while before that. So that's not new and he's he, and we've scored on it with him there. So just uh, replace uh, Duchesne's skill with Zinger's skill. JG on the PK at all tonight? Yes, yeah. yes. He, he he went last time, not a lot, but obviously he's our he's our best PK guy. But he hasn't played in so right. long that slowly, we, you know, want to give him. I, I want to spread out his minutes as much as I can so that he's able to be at his best uh, okay. for now. But over time, of course, at some point he'll be yeah. double shifted and a penalty kill for sure. Any update on Baby Watch? Oh, Any update on Baby Watch? Mm, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Maybe there is, but I haven't got it this morning. So, yeah. It's, 
we're wishing them the very best. I mean, it's uh, probably the most uh, important moment uh, in their lives as parents, and uh, so uh, we're wishing them that everything goes well. And uh, yeah, fast too, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs>